Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Esty and if you have not been here before, this channel is all about pre-nursing and nursing as a wife and a mom. So if that is content that you are interested in, definitely go ahead and subscribe to this channel below. I would love to have you guys on here for this journey. So today I will be sharing with you guys all about CNA or nurse aid training and what it looks like, what the classes are like, requirements to be listed on your state registry as a CNA or as a nurse aide. I am just now coming to the very end of my CNA training and so I'll share with you guys just a little bit about what that looked like for me. We've had just a little bit of changes because of COVID regulations but overall pretty much everything I think is the same as normal. So today I'll share with you guys all those things and let's just dive right in. So first of all, what exactly is a CNA or a nurse aide? A CNA is a certified nurse assistant and this is somebody who typically is working in a healthcare setting underneath a registered nurse. Usually a CNA is working with patients, helping them with their activities of daily living or sometimes they're called their ADLs. So a lot of times CNAs are working in long-term care facilities so like, for example, nursing homes, and sometimes in hospitals, sometimes in home health care. I'm not personally planning to work as a CNA, although time will tell if I maybe will do that. But the reason that I got my CNA training is because it's required in my state to get into a registered nursing program. And so that's the reason that I'm doing it. But I think that it has been just an excellent training. I think that honestly, it is an amazing baseline for nursing because you are learning all types of basic nursing skills. So let me just show you guys what our class looked like and what the content is like. So for my class, I have um, two different booklets. One booklet is the nurse aid pamphlet that basically goes over all of the skills that you are required to know in order to take the state test to become a nurse aid. So this is the list of 23 skills that we are required by the state to know completely, to pass off on in our class. And then at the very end of the class, you sit for a state exam. And out of these 23 skills, there are five skills that are chosen and you need to test off on them perfectly in order to pass the state exam. There also is a written exam at the end of the course. So you need to pass both the written exam and the skills test where you pass off on those five different skills. So examples of some of these skills, I'll just read a few for you guys, are helping a patient dress who has a weak arm, hand washing, putting on PPE, so putting on your gown, mask, goggles, gloves in the correct um, way, doing vital signs, so temperature, pulse, respirations, and blood pressure, doing range of motion on patients, doing catheter care, urinary output, helping patients transfer from the bed to the wheelchair or helping them ambulate or to walk around with a transfer belt. So there's just a bunch of different skills. All of these skills are gone over in the class. Your teacher shows you each of these skills. You get lots of time to practice these skills and to test off of them in class. For the state of North Carolina, there's 23 and I think that this is pretty similar state by state as well. Now the other book that we had in our class was basically just a big handbook for the class and it's a lot of content. Um, I have it in a three ring binder here. This includes all of the additional skills that are not necessarily required by the state to pass off on, but they're skills that are helpful to know as a CNA. And so in this book, there are over 50 skills total. They include the 23 that are in this state book, but they also add additional skills. So like for example, one of the skills is making a bed that's occupied that a patient is in, doing mouth care for a patient, helping with hair care. So basically the way the CNA class is structured is there are several different components. So for my class, we had about 23 different modules that we went through in eight weeks. Now some classes are eight weeks, some classes are 16 weeks, and it just depends on the school. But from what I understand, all CNA programs, you're required to have at least 169 hours of class and lab time. That is going to be the total amount of time that you put into the course, whether that's an eight week course or a 16 week course. In my class, we had 23 modules in that span of eight weeks. And pretty much what we did is each week we would have three to four modules that we would be expected to listen to lectures, take notes on the lectures. Pretty much every single week we also had a test 
on those three or four modules that we had gone through in the week. Honestly, these modules were not extremely difficult. It was a lot of content and a lot of information. You're basically learning all about just the basics of patient care. And so you're learning about basic vital signs. You're learning about patient privacy and federal laws that you need to follow as a CNA. You learn about some of the conditions that you might see and what is normal to see in a patient and what is not normal to see. And so there's just a whole variety of different things that you're going through in this curriculum. So it is a lot of content and I feel like it just takes a good chunk of time to just make sure that you get all that material and you know prepare for all of the skills for your class as well. So in my class we had those lecture modules, we took notes and then we had tests that you know tested all that material. Then other than the lecture material we had skills and so the skills are where you're learning actually how to do things with the patient and for the patient. These skills are done during lab time and our teacher would just show us exactly how these skills were done and each skill has a series of steps that you need to follow. So our teacher would just go step by step, demonstrate every single skill to us and then we were given time to practice those skills in the lab. We would do it either on each other or we would do it on the mannequins in the lab. We would just practice over and over and over and then when we were ready we would be able to check those skills off with our instructor. In the CNA class you have to pass off the skills in class at least once and then most of those skills you're also required to pass off in a clinical setting as well. So you've got your lecture portion, you have your skills portion, and then you also have a clinical component for a CNA training. So because of COVID, our clinicals, you know, were going to be in person at a nursing home facility, but that ended up not going through because of COVID. And so our class did clinicals in our lab and we just did simulations with our mannequins. Basically, we just set up our lab as if it were the nursing home setting and we did simulations just like it were you know a normal day where you would go in do vitals on your patients bring them breakfast do all the activities of daily living so helping them get up walk around use the bathroom help them get dressed and basically just doing all of our skills over and over and over in a lab setting it was really great practice to be honest with you our clinical days were about eight hours to ten hours just depending on the day and we had six different days of clinicals so we had a lot of time to really practice all of our skills over and over and over and practice you know with different classmates kind of pretending to be different patients and so we got a lot of practice it was great so that's really what the CNA class looks like and then once you finish the course then you're able to sit for the state exam the state exam consists of a written portion and a skills portion and you also have the option of taking an oral test if you would rather not do the written test but the written portion has 70 multiple choice questions just testing you on all the material that you did in your class and then the skills test Randomly, they choose five different skills out of those 23 state skills that were in this little booklet. And they choose five of those skills and you are required to pass off on those skills perfectly and do all the steps in the correct order in order to pass the exam and in order to be listed on the state registry. So that is you know, basically what the CNA course entails. I would say it's been a really great experience for me. I think that it's given me a really great basis for nursing. We had a CPR certification um, during the whole process. We learned how to do vital signs like blood pressure, temperature, respirations, pulse, and all of these things have been just very helpful for me in terms of getting ready for a nursing program. I hope that that was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, definitely go ahead and like below and you can subscribe to my channel for more content similar to this.